What's up, people? I hope y'all are doing absolutely fantastic. Today, we're gonna be diving into my travel content creator and gaming setup. Now, this isn't what I use to make my YouTube videos that you guys watch. This is more like a passion project bag. So if I go to like a friend's house or if I go to a, a family member's house or if I stay a couple nights in a hotel, but I'm still local, this is what I'm gonna bring to do things that I just feel like filming. Not necessarily for YouTube, but just for like personal, hobby type thing because as a creator it's like in our dna we just want to create stuff it doesn't matter if we're making money from it it doesn't matter if it's for youtube we just like creating and that's what this setup is all about so the bag that i decided to roll with is the hex bag now if you've been following me for a while you know that i love hex bags i love the materials i love the types of bags they offer they have sneaker bags duffel bags this is like a gaming backpack they always do collaborations with different artists in order to really specialize that bag to different artists. So they teamed up with like cinematographers before to make a cinematographer bag. This is a bag they teamed up with Microsoft and the studios that bring you Halo. This is the Spartan Halo Hex Backpack and it is a boss backpack, especially if you're into Halo and gaming. So this backpack has a main compartment right here and inside is probably the heart of the setup. This is the Asus Zephyrus Duo. It's powered by a 10th gen Intel CPU. This is the Core i7 model that does go up to a Core i9, and it has an NVIDIA Super 2070 Max-Q GPU, meaning that this thing is plenty powerful to push pretty much any game you can think of, and you can edit video, edit audio, edit your photos, like butter. Intel makes it really easy to do all these things with the new integrated graphics they're using. Also, the multitasking capabilities of this laptop are boss-like because we have a dual screen right here that's also a touch screen. So I could be editing a video up here and then also have my Twitter feed down here. I could, and some video applications like Adobe uh, Premiere Pro or even DaVinci Resolve, I can have my timeline down here and then my preview window as well as my other editing tools up here. When it comes to gaming, there are games out there that can take advantage of both of these displays. Unfortunately, I haven't played any of those titles. So if you know of any really awesome games that you, know, you want me to check out that can take advantage of this smaller display down here, leave them down below in the comment section. I'll make sure I check them out because anything to take advantage of this entire setup is definitely a plus and I definitely want to try it. But in terms of like video editing and just professional work, this computer is a boss thanks to that Intel chip. Being able to multitask and plus having that Wi-Fi 6 on board giving me super fast internet speeds is not gonna slow me down whatsoever no matter what it is I'm doing. Going back to the whole gaming aspect of this setup, the thermal performance of this laptop is incredible thanks to how this secondary display lifts up. It's able to really cool down the components inside, especially the GPU, which can be overclocked by the way. The display on this laptop is a 300 hertz 1080p display. It has a matte coating, so it's going to cut back on some reflections and glares. Um, it's not the brightest display, but then again, who's really gaming outside under direct sunlight anyways? Even though this display does go up to 300 hertz, achieving 300 frames per second on a laptop just probably isn't going to happen. At least I haven't been able to see it. So I'm gonna be covering this laptop in more detail on IGTV. So if you're not following me over on Instagram, make sure to do so. And also let me know what you want me to talk about in that video. I'm gonna continue using it because I think this laptop is a beast. Despite there being a newer model out there, don't sleep on this one. If you can catch it on sale, make sure to grab one if you're interested at least. So outside of the 15 inch laptop compartment, we have a nice spacious area of the bag right here. And then you can see the Spartan uh, Marines logo from Halo all done on the interior of the bag. And I think that's a really awesome touch. It really adds that Halo gaming vibe to this backpack. I also have the Epos 670s. Um, these are a Bluetooth headset. I did a video um, showcasing the 600, 601, 602s, and the 670s. So if you missed that video, click the card at the top. I get into a lot more detail about it. But overall, the latency on these is excellent. The mic quality is is average. It's, it's good for a gaming headset, but um, compared to like professional microphones, they're not that good. The comfort level is spot on and the battery life is incredible. So if you're looking for a good gaming headset, the 670s are definitely a win. I also have my Moment rugged case in here. This holds all of my Moment lenses. So I have the gold anamorphic, I have the blue anamorphic, I have the macro and the wide. I also have my Xbox Game Pass um, smartphone Razer Kishi controller. This I use in conjunction with my smartphone, which is the Galaxy S21 Ultra in terms of my Android phone. 
This is the second phone that I keep in my pocket. This is what I game on the most because of that 120 hertz display. And also because of the 8K video recording, these moment lenses work like a boss. And I have a, an anamorphic video coming soon using this phone and these anamorphic lenses. So make sure to stay tuned for that. And to make things even easier when it comes to adapting these lenses to multiple phones, including like the iPhone and the S21 Ultra, I have Moments lens clip here, which is a universal lens clip. So I can clip this to any smartphone that I have and then adapt any lens. Well, might've just broke it. That might've just, that might've just happened. So this is the Moment universal lens clip. It just goes right onto your smartphone you loosen up this and then it just slides right on. You line it up and then you tighten this area once you have everything lined up. That was like a down and dirty example. Of course, you're gonna take much more time in setting everything up, but this is really useful, especially if you're trying to um, use your lenses with a bunch of different smartphones. This will allows you to just buy this adapter and never have to worry about buying individual cases to adapt their lenses to. So when it comes to like mounting my S21 Ultra or whatever smartphone I'm using, I have a tripod here. This is the Peak Design tripod. It's really expensive. If you're buying a tripod specifically for smartphone use, don't buy this one. But if you have a camera and you want like a universal tripod that you can use for your smartphones and your camera, this is a fantastic choice because right here on the bottom, if I just pull it out, we have a hidden, I'm breaking everything. Right here on the center column, if I pull it out, we have a little smartphone clip here that just mounts directly into the Peak Design tripod. So now I can you know, put a smartphone right here. I can get any kind of shot that I want using this tripod everything is all included and the center column of course comes up and down this is a ball head so i can um, make sure everything is level i can also pivot the ball head and face it down it's just a great universal tripod that i can use for my regular camera or a smartphone so and the part that fell off by the way um, i didn't break the tripod that was a joke it's actually a uh, tool so this tool right here just attaches to the leg of the tripod. They're included in all of their tripods and you can use this tool to tighten the ball head or tighten the, the legs or to take the Peak Design uh, camera plate on and off. So it's really cool that they include everything all in one into one single tripod. The other thing that I have for mounting my smartphone is the DJI Osmo Mobile 4. Now there's a lot of smartphone gimbals on the market. You don't have to use this one. You have plenty of choices out there. Moza makes some good ones. Feiyu Tech makes some good ones. And um, uh, DJI, of course, makes some of the best ones. So I like this one because of the magnetic attachment. So right here, you just mount your phone in this. And then due to the wonderful force of magnets, it just clicks right on. And there's a lot of really cool modes that um, DJI has brought over into their app for the Osmo Mobile 4. So uh, definitely a, a highly recommended gimbal from me. So if you didn't want to put a tripod here, you could actually put a water bottle because it is like an elastic pocket. It's not really like massive or anything. So a smaller water bottle would fit definitely better, but um, still it's like a universal little side pocket. And on the other side, we have the same thing, except instead of this one being elastic, it actually has a little button fastener. So you could just snap it in like so. And then we also have a handle here. So if you wanted to carry it on its side, like more of a, I don't know, like a duffel bag type uh, backpack, you could do that. So we also have like a smaller pocket here. Um, Hex says that this is a sunglass pocket, which works perfect for my sunglasses. I just keep the, the actual sunglass pouch inside of here because there's no felt lining. So if by putting your glasses in here just by themselves, they might get a little scratched up. Um, I really wish they had some type of felt lining inside to make it softer for sunglasses. But if you have the case, the case slides perfect in there. I also have the Samsung Galaxy Smart Tag. Um, Samsung just announced these. I keep one in my bag, I keep one on my grandma, and I also have one on my keys um, in case I lose all three, primarily my grandma. Finally, getting to the last pocket I wanna show you here. This is where like all of my odds and ends go. So I have like the laptop charger for the Asus Zephyrus Duo. I would put it inside of the bigger pocket and I might actually move it to that pocket, but um, for now it's there. I also keep my Xbox gaming controller of choice because this pairs like seamlessly to PCs. 
I'm not like a keyboard and mouse kind of gamer. I, I still love a controller, and this is the Gears 5 limited edition Xbox One X controller. I love it because of the rubber backside. Like it just helps me grip it a little bit better. And plus it still has like the rumble pack and all that good stuff. So excellent controller. Highly recommend you pick up your like, like a customized Xbox controller. It just adds to that gaming experience. Then I also have my mouse of choice. This is the Logitech G Pro wireless mouse. The responsiveness of this mouse is just absolutely incredible. Like there, there's like no latency whatsoever. But again, I'm not really a, a mouse and keyboard gamer. I just like it for editing. Um, gaming mouses, in my opinion, are better than like the Logitech MX Master Series. So definitely highly recommend this mouse. It is a bit expensive. It's like 200 bucks. So um, try to get it on sale. I also have some odds and ends. Like this is a Nomad Universal Cable. So I can use this cable to charge USB-C devices, micro USB devices, and lightning devices. And of course, to go along with that, I have a little battery pack here from Mophie. This has um, PD charging, so it's going to give me super fast charging for all of my devices. Have a little notepad in here. This is a uh, reusable notepad, I'm trying to, you know, go green a little bit, save a tree. So I can just write all my notes in here and just wipe them off with like uh, some soap and water. And to go along with that, I have the reusable pen. Reusable pen, I mean erasable pen. Because the Asus Zephyrus Duo does not have an SD card slot, this works perfectly. This is Apple's um, SD card USB-C adapter. And the last thing that I have inside this pocket is this mini Sabrent um, portable SSD. It's super small, as you can see. I mean, if I get the Apple USB-C um, SD card adapter, you can see they're damn near the same size. Like it's, it's ridiculous how small this SSD is. It's a two terabyte SSD done in matte black. I put all of like my uh, video clips on here for video editing. You can even put games on here because the speeds are ridiculously fast, but just super convenient, super small, ultra portable. Uh, just toss it right into the bag here. And you can see the interior of this pocket is done in the uh, Marines or, or Halo Spartan logo as well. And it just looks really nice. Lots of organi organization in here. And um, I don't know, I really like this bag and it just, it really adds to that gaming vibe that I'm going for as well as content creation. So that was a quick look at my content creation and portable gaming setup. Like I said, this isn't what I use to create the majority of my YouTube videos since I'm basing all of my content creation around a smartphone. However, this is what I would take with me when I'm going, you know, to quick trips, going on quick trips. Um, if you guys have any questions about anything that you saw in this video, or if you want to see something covered in more detail, let me know down below. All links to everything discussed in this video can be found in the description, and I will see you beautiful people in the next video.